Hey guys, welcome to Thomas Family Life. I'm Angel, and if you're new to our channel, we're a full-time travel family. Uh, right now, currently, we're in Colorado. Today, we're gonna be talking about five things that are very important for a lady on the road. And guys, stick around because we have two bonus for that can be used for both ladies and men. So, Before we keep going, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when we put out a new video. Ladies, so first up would be the go girl. If you like to hike or go on adventures with your family or even with your girls, um, this is essential um, because squatting is never any fun. I mean, you might possibly get your shoes wet, not to mention, I mean, you're in trees, you know? I mean, we've all had to do it every once, once in a while, but this is your saving grace. Oh. So the instructions show you how to use it like this. You want to hold it, cup it in your hand. <laughs> oh, hold it like that, like that. That way the pee goes out that way. And you're gonna like cup it down. You're gonna hold it in your unmentionables spot. <laughs> and then you're going to just, you know, start peeing. And you want to make sure that this back part right here is upper, you know, like has a seal. Like it's up against your body, so it has a nice seal. So I want to make sure that this is, this back part here is touching skin. Otherwise, it'll basically you know leak all over the back of your clothes, and you know then you'll be wet in the woods. Not good. <laughs> so make sure you use it properly. Next up, I am I want to say a Nazi about it, but I don't like to use that word. <laughs> but anyway. I am like, a, you know, I have to have my sunscreen on, my moisturizer on every single day because I don't want to look like a, a prune face at, you know, before I'm 40. So I make sure I use my sunscreen. This one is a broad spectrum SPF 15. And I mean, I know that's not a high SPF. I do go back over with my regular sunscreen that I spray on, but this one is like a baseline. Um, and I mean my skin is moisturized and it has that anti-aging uh, effect to it and I've been using this since I was early 20s and my motto has always been why not I love this because I don't I won't I don't want to look like a shrivelly old prune okay I want to be youthful and glowing as long as I can and you know whenever aging hits let it come as it may but I don't want to you know invite it in next up makeup removing wipes and they come in many different brands this is a brand I use I like the ultra calming it does seem more soothing to my skin um, and they're super easy to use I mean you just whip out a wipe and it removes your mascara and all your makeup because again you don't have a lot of water to always be washing your face all the you know fully you know you do it right before bed and your skin's relaxed and you're relaxing and you're unwinding so this is perfect for that unwinding and removing that makeup so you don't wake up looking like raccoon in the morning <laughs> next up so the next essential product would be um, these feminine wipes you can use diaper wipes or they have other bath wipes I like these because they're made for women in the sensitive areas and everything so that's why I like these and these are perfect for in between baths I know a lot of people wonder like what do you do for ba for bathing and I mean the truth of the matter is is you're in the middle of nowhere sometimes you, for us we don't have water connections all the time fortunately for the last few times we've been near a river so we've been able to fill up our fresh water tanks that way but in between baths you know these work out really good because they're kind of sudsy kind of soapy and it, they leave you feeling fresh and clean next up okay so next up is my favorite product of it all and it's the diva cup I love diva cup so much because I no longer have to buy tampons every month I no longer have to deal with the messiness of it all um, or the waste that comes with it I just simply clean it boil it and put it away until I need it for the next month so you would simply replace it or clean it out while you're needing to use it twice two to three times a day and you make sure you rinse it well and clean it well with um, some gentle soap and water I like to use feminine wash um, and you just make sure you clean it well make sure you wash your hands before you change it and I mean it's the simplest thing it doesn't leak 
I mean, you can wear it all day. You have no idea it's there. It's there. And I mean, it has a little stem thing that you can use to pull it out, kind of like the tampons with the strings. So you just pull the stem out and it's simple. I mean, you just fold it up and kind of stick it up there. <laughs> it sounds so weird. <laughs> and you just stick it up there and it, it instantly is like, a and it gives this super tight seal. And then you give it a 360 turn and it just locks it into place. And so you don't have to worry about it spilling out while you're on a normal lunch or whatever, or a hike with your friends. It's just that simple. The reason why I love it so much is because it's, it's like literally almost zero waste. I mean, you replace it annually, but it's not as much of a waste as it is when you're using tampons and pads every month. So I love that. And, um, and it's, it's a no brainer. I mean, a lot of people are afraid to use it. I've had so many people tell me, oh my gosh, I'm scared to use it. Try it and you'll never go back, trust me. Bonus number one. <laughs> she let me get in the video. All right, so crystal deodorant. It's unscented, it's, it's made out of salt, and it's easy to apply, all natural. So all you have to do is put a little water in there, and then use this, and, I, and it's supposed to last like over a year. Like we met this lady at the store and she said that lasted her for like five years. That's crazy, but it's it's solid. I, I know one thing for me is that is that when, when we're out of here and then you, you, you kind of in between showers and then you put on regular deodorant, I don't know, it seemed to, even though the, the deodorant that I would normally use seemed to be, it, would, it seemed like it would break me out. This right here has been awesome, keeping you smelling good and all natural and saving you money at the same time. Bye. Bonus number two. Creosote salve. This stuff is amazing. So we were at Big Ben and, and the lady told us about this creosote and it's like, it's made from like the plant bushes um, that are found in the desert, but it's a real good topical agent to put on. So if you have cuts, mosquito bites, all of that stuff, uh, the creosote bush salve is amazing. Again, all natural. This this little thing was like eight bucks, but you know what? We got a secret. You can actually make this thing yourself. And so we'll actually put a recipe uh, on our blog for you so you can see the recipe of how we made our own bush salve uh, from the plants that we found while we was driving. So hope you like it, y'all. Get you some creosote salve and um, love you. Let me know if you've tried any of, any of these products in the comments below. Um, I would love to chit chat and I would love to hear some funny stories if you have any of an experience that you've had trying to be a woman in the wilderness <laughs> or just period. Thanks for following our shenanigans. I hope you found these top five products very helpful. I hope they help you on your journey whenever you decide to get out there. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.